admit to me, like, like David mentioned earlier, they, they come up to him and admit, oh, I had a cheeseburger this weekend, you know, confession time. You know, people do that to me sometimes too, and they say, Mike, what can I do to defend myself against the foods that I'm eating that I know I'm not supposed to eat? You know, sometimes many of you traveled here. And you got that airplane food. It's not really food, but they serve it as food. Or you're at a guest's house, or you're, you're out with some friends, and you're eating something that you know you shouldn't eat, something that contains a dangerous nutrient, maybe an additive chemical, maybe a heavy metal. What can you do to protect yourself? You can use phytonutrient combining. So with heavy metals, if you will eat cilantro and take chlorella, before you eat heavy metals, such as in shrimp, seafood from China, <laughs> you think there's lead in that seafood? <laughs> when, they, when we told them to get the lead out, they thought we meant work faster. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> cilantro and chlorella will bind with the heavy metals, especially mercury. If you go get your mercury fillings removed, which is a great idea if you still have them, and I had mine removed, I was chugging chlorella and cilantro before and after. That's the way to get the heavy metals out of your system. So you can protect yourself if you anticipate that you might be eating some seafood or something with heavy metals in it. Sodium nitrite, right? This is the cancer-causing chemical that's in our processed meats. If you're eating bacon, sausage, pepperoni, uh, salami, any of these processed packaged meats, they are colored with sodium nitrite. And by colored, it's exactly what I mean. This chemical is added to those meats to turn them red. Because otherwise, they would sit on the shelf for three or four months, and they would turn a kind of putrid gray. Even meat eaters don't want to buy putrid gray meat. They want it to look red and fresh. But instead of it being red and fresh looking, they use this chemical. It turns it red. The problem is it also creates a class of chemical compounds in your body when you consume this chemical. It's called, they're called nitrosamines. Nitrosamines are highly carcinogenic. Well, you know, I mean, in fact, nitrosamines are what they inject into rats when they're studying them in the labs and they want to give them cancer. They inject nitrosamines. We're feeding this stuff to our children. Well, maybe not us. <laughs> yeah, not we. But out there, you know, in the grocery stores, that's what they're doing. They're buying hot dogs with sodium nitrite. You can protect yourself against that by taking camu camu berries, the highest natural source of vitamin C. I think it really is half a percent by weight of vitamin C. Does that sound right? That's right. Yeah. Highest natural source in the world, also from South America. If you take camu camu before you eat processed meat, you're blocking all of that cancer-causing action. So you can defend yourself against these dangerous ingredients. You really can. Well, 10 minutes before is sufficient. You just want to get the vitamin C actually in your stomach. It doesn't even have to be in your bloodstream. Just in your stomach so that it can block the sodium nitrite as it's beginning to be digested. If you don't have camu camu berries, take some citrus. Still a great source of vitamin C. If you don't have that, you could even take synthetic vitamin C. It's not my recommendation. I always prefer natural, but synthetic still blocks the sodium nitrite. So, so there's a great tip that you can use when you're traveling and you're looking at the ingredients and you say, I'm starving, but this stuff has sodium nitrite in it. What am I supposed to do? Bring some vitamin C with you. Okay, carbohydrates, refined carbohydrates. This is, uh, this is a really easy one for us all to get in trouble over, especially when we're eating somewhere that's unfamiliar to us. In our own kitchens, we're cool. You know, we don't have the processed carbs around, but go over to a friend's house and, it, it, you know, it's like your Italian second cousin's favorite spaghetti recipe. And he's like, eat the spaghetti, eat the spaghetti. <laughs> and you're like, oh, man, if I say no, I'm going to get kicked out again. <laughs> so what do you do with the carbs? Vinegar, apple cider vinegar. If you, if you change the pH balance of your stomach, you actually lower the glycemic index of the carbohydrates you can turn a high glycemic index sugar into a low glycemic index sugar with vinegar. How much? Uh, about a tablespoon is uh, what I typically do. Uh, you, you can experiment with it yourself. It depends on how much stomach acid you're generating in the first place. Most people aren't generating enough stomach acid and they need to juice 
more celery juice, for example, cucumber juice over the long haul to, to generate better stomach acidity, which also, of course, helps with uh, nutrient absorption of minerals. So uh, I know a lot, you, you all know this stuff, so I'm not telling you anything new on, on, the, on the, you know, the calcium absorption, but it's easy to forget it. So I'm happy to be here you know, reminding us how to have better stomach acid. Uh, hydrogenated oils. Uh, finally, the mainstream has figured out that, that these trans fatty acids are bad for you. And I was out shopping just the other day. I'm doing a, a crazy photo tour of the top 20 groceries to avoid, where I, I take their pictures and I, I take snapshots of their ingredients and I, I put them on the website. That's coming out in, in about 10 days or so. And I saw the, this product, you know, Crisco, the, the vegetable shortening. You know, it's made with like half hydrogenated oil. I mean, it's, that's half of what's in there. Well, the front has a claim that says zero grams trans fats. Zero. But you know how they do that? Well, in the FDA's transmuted mind, uh, 0.5 grams equals zero grams. If you only have 0.5 grams of trans fatty acids in your food, you can claim zero. Yeah, that's not even rounding. That's just, that's just, that's just complete deception. So, so if, uh, uh, theoretically, if you ate this entire can of Crisco, like if you were trying to be a sumo wrestler competitor in Japan and you really needed to put on some weight and you ate this whole can of Crisco, you would have zero, zero grams of trans fats according to the makers of Crisco. The number two ingredient in that product is, of course, fully hydrogenated vegetable oil. It's not even partial. It's fully <laughs> hydrogenated vegetable oil. Read it. I'm not kidding. Well, okay, so, so to block that stuff, and by the way, Girl Scout cookies still contain this ingredient, and they also say zero grams of trans fats. Girl Scout cookies. Uh, to block this stuff, you can take Kytosan, you know, the chitin supplement. It was sold, it was popular as a fat blocker. But, you know, it has its own problems. It causes digestion problems. It's better to just avoid this ingredient entirely. But if, if you happen to be consuming some Girl Scout cookies, <laughs> you could take some Kytosan. That's C-H-I-T-O-S-A-N, uh, in case you didn't know. Okay, aspartame. Uh, wow, that's a, that's, a, that's a tough one. Did you know just a few days ago uh, Ajinomoto, the Japanese company that manufactures aspartame, announced the results of an amazing study that they funded. 